Hi, my name is Paul Hennessy, the classroom teacher of 6D, and welcome to the Year 6 2021 Parents and Partnership Information Evening. For further details in our presentation, please refer to the slideshow that's been sent to all parents from your classroom teacher. Our camp, uh, City Camp is in week two, term two. Uh, the transport, we're going to be meeting at Lindbrook Station on the day we depart at 8.45 a.m. and returning on Friday at 3.30 in the afternoon. Camp will be our only excursion for the year as it will include all the learning experience we would have done to support our learning across the whole year. Most important information to understand is we are staying at Out and Beyond School Camp and, Out and Urban Adventures, 78 Howard Street, North Melbourne. We'll have our own private space for exclusive use of Lindhurst staff students. Our accommodation is central to the location we're visiting and we'll be travelling by public transport or by walking. Just uh, on this slide you'll notice uh, we're going through just some of the day-to-day -day reminders. Uh, a couple things to point on is as far as hygiene as the, the kids are, are growing a bit older, when they're a bit more active, um, please you know, bring uh, some spray deodorant for them to use uh, in the classroom. Uh, as well as we do have a focus this year on, again, the uniform policy. And being grade six, we, we kind of hold them to role models. So we do expect them to wear um, a full school uniform, which you'll see in the, the next slide it highlights what should be worn. All students will be completing homework for the entirety of the year and it will start in Term 1. If, the student, if, your, if your child does not have access to a computer, we will supply for them a hard copy for them to use. Homework will focus on reading and will tie into our Walker learning focus that we're working on at the time. There will also be a mathematics, spelling, writing and inquiry component to each week of homework that we do. Homework will be sent home on a Friday afternoon and it is due the following Thursday, giving the students a whole week to complete their work. Ideally, should look to each student should be looking to work on their homework for an hour a night. In the picture is an example of a homework rubric from this week. Part of it will be to read each night, complete an inquiry focus, spelling focus, and a math focus. Hi, I'm Mrs. Donahue and I teach 6A and I just want to have a look at this slide and just focus on the last dot point, which is about mobile phones coming to school. Uh, we really need all students that are bringing mobile phones to take them up to the front office and get them locked up there and then they can collect them at the end of the day. And there really is no exception to this. We do really need the student safety of their equipment to be locked up safely in the front office. Um, and again, if you have any questions about that, you can email the classroom teacher um, and we can have a discussion on this. Um, but all the other expectations of the students are listed here for you to have a read with and chat with your student or your child about these as well, so that they're aware that home and school are on the same page about the expectations. Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Jarvie, teacher of 6B. I'm here to talk to you today about BYD. BYODs and how they work in the classroom. Basically, we expect the students to have their own pair of headphones. They can be purchased from the office. They must bring their BYOD to school daily and have them charged ready for learning. If it's not, it does affect them. They are unable to charge their laptops <coughs> at school and they've been explained, it's been explained to the students that these are the conditions on which they agree to use their BYOD, so that is super important. And during the, during the school day, we will do our best to incorporate the BYDs to let the students use them to help them with their learning as much as possible. And just a few extra dot points here that you can refer to when you have time, but basically please check that there's not too many programs installed on the students' devices. <coughs> also, just be aware of what your students are doing at home, or what your children are doing at home, sorry. 
and keep an eye on what sort of sites they are on. It, it is a very important thing to monitor your child's use of technology at the moment. Thanks. Okay, so we use seven transition. Um, oh, by the way, families, um, Mr. Bacon, I'm a teacher in 6C. I apologize for not introducing myself sooner. Um, I'm also the transition coordinator for the year sixes. So coming up in term two, we will have a more formal meeting and go through the process of transitioning the students into year seven. Uh, so at this point, probably the, the best thing to do is make sure you kind of are researching schools that your child might go to and uh, looking at their requirements. Uh, and if you have any immediate questions, um, feel free to, to send me an email. back again. Uh, year six sport. <laughs> Every Friday uh, we we do uh, grade six sport. Uh, so term one um, we have the, the sports up there. Soccer, t-ball, netball, badminton, and cricket. It is part of the Victorian curriculum so it is an expectation that the, the students participate. Um, and when there, we do, we'll do some excursions where we'll go to other schools and compete. So just make sure permission forms and payments are made to the office prior to. If there are any, any general questions for the year 16, um, based off of what we said in the PowerPoint, if you could please uh, just send us an email uh, to your child's classroom teacher and we'll endeavor to answer questions uh, during the afternoon Zoom sessions at 4.30 on Tuesday, 2nd of March. Thank you.